some information about Turkey first of all, and then uh, move to healthcare system which certainly lies in Turkey. So Turkey lies at the intersection of the so-called uh, old world, the continents of Asia, Europe and Africa surrounded on the three sides by the galaxy on the north, the Asian on the west and the Mediterranean on the south. So uh, the population is about 74 million by 2010 census. And 60% uh, of the populations are uh, between ages 15 to 60. And the rest, uh, well, the most rest, 26% uh, more in the first 14 age group. Urbanization rate in the general population has been increasing in the next in the last 10 years, while about 76% of the population <coughs> lives in, in cities and the rest live in the urban areas. <coughs> Turkey is located in a region highly sensitive to geopolitical. This has kept the importance of each period. As part of this importance, Turkey is the founding uh, member of some organization all of which are crucial in the uh, world, which are OECD, OSCE, ECO, UN, OIC, Black Sea 4, E8, WTO, ECHR, NATO, COE. And since 1995, Turkey is also a part of Euro European Union Customs Union. In addition, <coughs> Turkey officially began negotiations for full membership of uh, European Union in 2005. Turkey has the world's 15th largest gross domestic product and 17th GDP purchasing power party and it classified as upper middle income country in terms of the country's per capita GDP in 2007. Turkey had a rapidly growing private sector yet the state still plays a major role in industry, banking, transport, and communication. In recent years, Turkey seems to progress in all areas. Economy, agriculture, industry, tourism, health sector are some of these areas. The developments in the health sector is quite remarkable. It was launched in 2003 within the framework of the health transformation program. So public hospitals are united under a single roof, grow to the family medicine system, preventive and primary health care has been free. The budget for health was two, uh, $8 billion last year, and this year it increased 25% to $10 billion. The citizens all over the country can buy all kinds of services free of charge. In 2011, the budget allocated to preventive and primary healthcare services about $3.7 billion. Impact of health service. The Republic of Turkey was founded in 1923. Since then, it has been very, uh, very significant progress. In by 1940s, improved basic health legislation. By 1960, increase in the number of health institutions, and this was followed by central administration. And between 1962-80, we, we see socialization period, and the reform of, of the theoretical studies are conducted in the period between 1982 and 2000. After 2000, the health reform program was launched. With all these developments, the Republic of Turkey in the last 10 years, significant improvements were made in the health indicators. This include the expected increase in the life expectancy, improvement in maternal and infant health indicators, improvement in the indicators of infectious and contagious disease, health services in financial support, health services with increased satisfaction. So the life expectancy are estimated about 20, 20 to 72 for men 
and 76 for uh, female. Infant mortality rate is about 9.9 per 1,000 live births. Maternal mortality ratio is about 16 per 100,000 live births comparing OECD countries, it is very close. And the vaccination is 97%, so one of the highest vaccination rate in including European countries. Turkey and the World Health Organization European ratio, if you compare these two uh, size. The point prevalence of tuberculosis is 22 for Turkey, 39 for WHO organization, WHO European region. So health case satisfaction between last 10 years is very significant, about 65%. And the national health care institution uh, and the infrastructure st structure 92% of all hospitals belongs to public hospitals and clinics and almost all prophylactic health services are rendered by state institutions. Turkey's current policy st strongly encourages private investments in the health sector that in 2008 rose the capacity of nearly 1,400 hospitals, rising the beds capacity to nearly 200,000 beds and of them, 1,400 are intensive care unit beds, and nearly 4,000 4, of which serve neonates, and bed capacity usage was listed as nearly 65%. So there are totally more than 6,000 different places giving basic health services except hospitals, including Village clinic, family health centers, public health centers, primary child health care, and family planning centers, tuberculosis, control dispensary, and cancer early diagnosis, screening and education centers. There are one and two emergency stations in more than 1,300 different points, points across the country. So, emergency medical services free has been made. All citizens to benefit from private health institutions. Public hospitals are grouped under a single roof. Pre preventive health services have been made free of charge. And most importantly, population under 18 years of age were included in the general health insurance. Family medicine seems to enjoy a wide popular support in Turkey. The family doctor is trained by the ministry and mandated to provide comprehensive and continual full-time health care to patients in his or her charge offering mobile service if necessary. Along with the family doctors, the family health centers are staffed with midwives, nurses, health attendants appointed by the ministry. The health transformation program launched in 2003 aims to promote basic health service to a position of priority, a primary course that is precede other forms of medical intervention. Preventive medicine is adopted as a as the cardinal approach in health policy. Individuals can obtain their medication free of charge through the social welfare system they belong or with their green card if they are poor. So the, about 10 million, sorry, 10 million green cards are existing in Turkey. That a similar follow-up and care that system does not exist for adults. Turkey, to increase investment in health, has broad progress in some sectors. Chief among these is health tourism. In recent years, health tourism is a rising trend in the world. It is moving directly to be the most varied, fastest developing, and important tourism alternative. It is essential that the health ministry should interest more in relevant trade unions and other professional and social organizations concerned in developing a universal personal health system. EPMA's representative office in Turkey has already begun preliminary studies for this purpose in conjunction with EPMA's objectives. It is crucial to endow in collaboration with and under government sponsorship to establish a system that is far from Rosco personalized protection and preservation oriented educative and informative as well as 